Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel. 34 times the Booster Club has been called upon and 34 times they've answered. Join the team today and help send the prophets around the world. 12 tribes worldwide. Shalom. I can't get enough for this word. Call me library. All you do is talk. I tell them read. I'll be your ball bearer. As long as my hands clean, I'm a teach. I let the laws tear. You rebuff your doctrine. Can't believe I even fell for it. No top models, no need for worries, cause God got us See masculinity need to be shown to for real And all of you that's cross-dressing would be dressed to be killed Apollo Creed, but I'm hitting like I'm Holyfield You counting sheep, but you the high lean, the type to flee This for the meat, when the battle won't, they gnash their teeth I can't believe I even fell for their hypocrisy Like it or not, it's Kwam Yasharala Laws attached to the brain, a dubla obligata we are not the same over here, we walk with giants yeah, Ten toes, toes down, down with the clay is mixed with iron I can't get enough for this word, call me library All you do is talk, I tell them read, I'll be your ball bearer As long as my hands clean, I'ma teach, I let the laws tear You rebuff your doctrine, can't believe I even fell for it Watch this, read that. Yeah. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 3. Bring it up. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Saw me though. It says, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Hey, my brother, my brother in the flag shirt, give me five minutes, bro. Give me five minutes, because this stuff you can take back to your wife. Your wife, right? Watch this, read. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation. It says, I hate God sending us to the children of Israel. Did you, do you know you're an Israelite? Yeah. He said to a rebellious nation. Are you rebellious? No. Let's see. Give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. I, I know you're trying to walk up, but give me five minutes, bro. Yeah. Bring to a rebellious nation uh -huh. that have rebelled against me. Hey, and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. He said, now let me get Exodus 20 and 8. So it says, you have, that he sent us to a, to the children of Israel, a rebellious nation, right? That rebelled against him to this very day. To this very day. Do you know what today is, bro? You say you're an Israelite, do you know what today is? What is today? Today is uh, Saturday. Which is what to God? Uh, the, the Sabbath. Watch this. Read. Watch this. The book of Exodus, chapter Three 20, minutes. and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Why? Because you shouldn't say it. Because we're, we're going to forget. We're going to forget our, our heritage. Because you didn't come out your mama womb knowing that you was an Israelite, did you? No. No. I came out knowing nothing. So, you, so you had you you get the tea from your heritage, but uh -huh. after a while, hold on, two more minutes, bro. Yeah. Two more minutes. Uh -huh. I'm gonna show you something. It said rebelled until this very day. Let me get, let me get uh no buying and no selling, right? Because you said you know you're an Israelite, right? You said you don't rebel against God until this very day. I'll let you know that today is the seventh day, right? Seven six days should you work, but the seventh day, which is today, is the Sabbath of the Lord, right? He said, keep it holy. Do you know how to keep it holy? Yeah. How do you keep it holy, bro? Let's see what the Bible says. Watch this. Read. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wet or any minutes on the Sabbath day to itself. So it said, if the people of the, of the nation, the people all around you, bring wear, which is clothes, and visuals, which is food and drink, on the Sabbath day, right? So we talked about buying on the Sabbath day, right? Read. That we would not buy it of them. We would not what? We would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Ooh. So should you be buying that chicken right now? Man, she gotta eat. Oh, so you love so you love your wife more than you love God? I love, I love, I love God. 
don't want to get beat down right now. First so Timothy you tell you telling me that your that, that your wife runs your house. First Timothy 212. Yeah. She do? You know that's against God? Sometimes I gotta let her have her way so I can. Sometimes. Sometimes. Watch this though. So I can be in peace. Watch this. Sometimes. Yes, I'm married, bro. Yeah. I'm married. Well, My brother know. right here is married. My brother right here is married. Yeah. We come we do compromise with our wife okay. sometimes. But hold on. We do not break the laws of God for our wife. No. Never do that. And watch this. I just asked you what you rebellious. You said no, right? But God, God said he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Absolutely. Okay, so, so, so let me, let me, give me one second. Rock 26. Okay, so, if I found my wife and I found a good thing, I'm supposed to take care of her, provide for her, and do some of the things she Absolutely. wants me to do. So that's all I'm doing. Absolutely. She wants this food, and I got to go get it. No, you brother. That's a rebellious brother. That is a rebellious brother right there. He loved his wife this more than he loved God. Um, he that loved his wife or mother that more than he loved me are not worthy of me. Yeah. Matthew 10 and uh, 34. Luke 14, 28. Luke 14, 28. Let me get that. Bro, because this is for you. This is what the Bible say. Read. You got it? What's it? Read. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father, then his mother, and wife, and children, and brother, and sister, yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. It says if, if you don't hate them, and when it says hate them, then not put them above God, right? You cannot put your wife, brother, your daughter, your father, your mother, your brother, your sisters, none of them above God. This brother just said that his wife ruled his house. First of all, that's out of order. You don't get that. Secondly, he said that he got to get his wife some food because she's hungry and he don't care what the Bible say. That's right. He said that he's not rebellious, but that shows that he's rebellious. Oh, grip that shows that he's rebellious because God tells you not to buy on the seventh day. Right. Not alone buy, not to cook on the seventh day. And he's eating hot food. Right. He's going to buy it from somebody. Right. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 18 and verse 18. Bring it up. See that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him that he will command his children and his household. He will do what? Command his children and his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord. It says that Abraham will command his children and his household and keep the way of the Lord. If your wife is running you, you're out of order. God cannot use you because you're weak. You're weak. If your wife is running you, telling you, hey, you gonna go get that chicken and that fries, I don't care what God say, I don't care if it's a Saturday day, you're a weak man. I can guarantee you, my wife would never tell me, hey, go get some chicken on the Sabbath day. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Because I don't bow down to my wife. My wife called me Lord. She called me Lord. I command her. I run my household. I run the I run the pants of my household, not my wife. Let's do the, uh, uh, first three. Uh, matter of fact, do what you got. Read the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. It says the Bible says he did not suffer the woman to teach you. Some authority over the man. Hey, my brother on the plaid shirt over there by the chicken uh, spot. I know you're still listening. I know you can hear us. The Bible says, God says, He does not want the woman to use such authority over the man. He did not want her to be over the man. Let me get uh, first, that in 1 Corinthians 11. And that's what your wife is doing. She's usurping authority over you. That's right. You should ask yourself, why are we out here? You know that? Why are we speaking aloud? Why are we came to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Right. I can guarantee you that white cop that's in that truck, that in that truck right there, I bet you his wife would never tell him what to do. That's I bet 
make sure he run his household, but the black man, the Hispanic man, our household is out of order. That's good. Our household is out of order. We gotta get back to what the Bible tells us to do and get back to put our household in order. That's right. We, look, and he over here and want to talk to the oppressor, talk to the person that shoot that and shoot his brothers down, that keep him in oppression, that will pull him over tomorrow and you'll be afraid, right? That's right. But he don't want to listen to his brothers. He don't want to listen to his brothers. He don't, he don't, want, he don't want to come over here and get this knowledge, get this right. medicine to uplift his community and put his community on the right, on the right path. Jeez, John. Because I can guarantee you that white man that's in that car right there, his community, community do not look like this. Right. right. I can guarantee you his community is nothing like this. Bring it up. Watch this. Read. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 33. Bring it up. But a peace as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches. God said he's not the offer of confusion. Hey, my brother, y'all got a minute? I hear you listening and eating over there, bro. You got a minute to come talk to me? Because we're, we're talking about the black man and Hispanic man and the Native American man, right? That's right. And let me ask you something. Do y'all love, you love God, bro? Hey, my brother right here, you love God? You said Black Lives Matter, right? Come here, let me holler at you. Come, come, come across real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something out of the Bible. Come around, come around. Hey, my brother. Bro, come, come around real quick. I'm gonna show you something because our brother over here, our brother over here says his wife run him. His wife run his household, right? Is that according to God? No. Is 50-50 according to God? Well, who's the head? Man. Man is the head. That's right. Man is the head. That's right. There's no 50-50 with God. That's right. You think, you know you think it's 50-50 in heaven with uh with him and Christ? No. No, he's over Christ. That's right. He's That's over right. Christ. You think it's 50-50 us and Christ? No, Christ is over us. So shall your house be too. It ain't no 50-50 with you and your wife. It's no 50-50 with you and your kids. You the head. You run your household. And we should, we should, the black and Hispanic man need to start standing up and getting his house back in order. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brother, that you remember. Um, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So it says, the head of every man is Christ, right? Who's y'all head? Christ. Absolutely. Watch this. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And it says, in the head of the woman is the man. Right? Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. My sister right here in the truck, in the Chevy. My sister right here in the Chevy. So God just gave you the order out of 1 Corinthians 11. He out. just gave you the order. He said it's God himself, Christ, the man, then the woman. That's right. That's what it's, that's what it's supposed to be. That's but right. now this day and age in Babylon the Great, the woman's like, no, nah, I'm independent. Come on. Bring it out. I'm independent. I can do I can do all this myself. Right. But God, that's not what God says. That's right. In your church, you have those women that say, oh, I'm independent. I don't need no man. But God said he made the woman for a man. man. Not the man for woman, but the woman for man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart 
the scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.